Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Sommo, where we help clients all over the world build uh, low-code and no-code uh, applications using uh, Bubble, Webflow, and lots of other tools. In today's video, I would like to show you how to use uh, Superbase as a backend solution, uh, as a no-code backend for your application. Superbase is an open source alternative to Firebase, uh, but uh, it is, uh, in my mind, much more than that. It is a really great product that uh, offers you uh, a standard Postgres database that you can connect to uh, an API for users to authenticate as well as to access the database and uh, lots of other uh, great stuff. Let's jump into it and uh, see how to use it. After creating, uh, signing up and creating the project, uh, one of the first things that you might want to do is to go to tables and create your uh, table. Because it's just, just a standard Postgres database, uh, you have all the standard rows and columns of different types that you can create here. And let's start a couple of demo table, uh, tables and examples here, like companies with the name, founded at, location, product with name, price, image, user ID, etc. And uh, profile, just some with first name, last name, etc. Uh, that's uh, pretty much it to get started. Uh, just with creating your table, you can go directly to, for example, API and select your uh, tables and use like company. And here you can see their API that they give you how to access their uh, data through a standard REST API to create, update, uh, read, delete your uh, records. You would need your Superbase key that you can reveal right here. Uh, for example, like your service key with which you can access these uh, tables. And you can copy this uh, service key, for example. Let us copy it here. And uh, let's go and make some request for companies through Postman using our uh, service bearer service key here. And uh, here we get a response of uh, all our companies that we he have in our table. What I have uh, post why I love uh, Superbase is that they use uh, standard APIs. And for example, for filtering data, they use uh, they use um, Postgresful, Postgres. It's an API to uh, easily filter and search uh, products. And I can, for example, uh, do very simple uh, filters right right here. For example to filter products where ID is less than three. It's uh, how it easy to write them here. You can write this request or change it, for example, where the ID is uh, greater than uh, one. And yeah, it gives me responses uh, right here. Very intuitive, simple, uh, and easy to use. Or for example, if I don't want all of the uh, columns to be returned, only ID and uh, price, I can do it as well very easily uh, right here, okay? But of course, as you might imagine, uh, using service key is uh, dangerous and you cannot uh, typically give your end users access to your whole database and you would like to protect it. For that, you would need to set up authorization policy and authorize your users. Go to settings of your project identification and select the uh, host provider that you would like to use. We'll start with simple email uh, password provider and there are, of course, many other options that you can connect to uh, create a login flow that, they, that you need for your application. What I also love about uh, Superbase is that they give you right here all the uh, templates to customize. And uh, for example, send, uh, you can set up your authorization flow so that your users would need to confirm their emails after signing up. Uh, you have emails, templates to invite users, uh, sign in with the magic link to change or set password, etc. So all right here, you can use it ready out of the box or customize for your application if needed. Okay, we have our now uh, provider set up. Let's go to, again, to our API, uh, to the authentication, read through the docs here and to the user management where we get, again, the API, how to authorize our users to get an access token with which make further requests. I already signed up a couple of uh, test users, for example, like this one with super secure password. And uh, I use their uh, authentication API with the grant type password to authorize my users. And as I respond, I get a, 
access token that I will use for my further request as well as a uh, refresh token that I will use later to uh, refresh my access token when it expires. That you will need to manage on your own application. Okay, I copied my uh, access and refresh token and get go to the same request like a company and then instead of the service key, uh, I will use my bearer. I will use my uh, user uh, authentication key and make the same re request. Well, you can see nothing changed right now, but at least it is now authorized with my users. And to uh, change that and to set up security so that only certain users have access to certain tables or to certain rows, you can use a standard Postgres uh, solution for that uh, or row level security that you can again read extensively uh, on their docu documentation that is very nice, well documented and very, very intuitive. So uh, for this uh, role level security, you will be able to basically like uh, define the rules uh, for each operation with your database. For example, like who users, who, which type of users can select from a database, insert, update, delete, or all of this operation together. A common flaw would be to, for example, allow a only authorized users to read from the database and only authorized users with admin role to, for example, insert, update, and delete certain uh, tables. Let's view on some simple example, for example, on how to protect uh, this uh, product, product page from accessing, from user accessing only their own products. Product, pa product page has, uh, product table, sorry, has a um, column called uh, user ID and I can check here for example if user ID is the same as outs.user ID. Outs is a special function that Superbase returns you for checking the authentication status and uh, by building the query like that I can uh, check for example and make sure that only authorized users that have created the product can access it and go back to my um, uh, products uh, change. Let's change uh, to my authenticated user and uh, select everything and not just filtered one and make my request. And you can see right now only one product is returned uh, for my user. Uh, this one because only I created as user only one product. Um, that's it. This is how you would uh, use setup and use the API securely of Superbase for your no-code application. As you can see, it's quite easy. Um, the only drawback of Superbase I would find is that uh, it's maybe slightly more um, complex to start with than with uh, other popular no-code uh, tools like uh, Xano or Bubble Data API or Firebase. But uh, I guess it's worth the effort to uh, get familiar a little bit with SQL to be able to write direct queries that they offer you here, for example, or uh, work with it. Another small drawback that I find of Superbase, just a tiny one, that uh, you cannot extend the uh, standard AUS, uh, the standard tables, for example, like users. Uh, you can work only with what they have here. You can add some simple metadata, but if you want to have uh, tables and then joins uh, for the user, you would uh, the solution recommend to create, for example, like profiles table and link it with uh, users through the same ID, and then add your user uh, columns here, like first name, last name, their roles, companies, uh, messages, whatever they might need uh, to have in their uh, table. That's it. Let me know how do you like. Uh, Superbase for your backend, uh, for your no code backends, uh, or what else do you use? We'd be glad to hear. Thanks for watching and take care.